Welcome to Off Grid Contracting. Guys, in this video tonight, sorry, I usually say today, but tonight, um, you can see here, this is a very unique solar install because although it is on the tiny house and we're here at Incredible Tiny Homes lot working late, this is actually on a shed style roof and I want to explain the advantage of having a shed roof because I'm not just speaking out, um, I also have a tiny house with a shed roof. If you have a single pitch going south facing or southwesterly facing, then with a shed roof, you, you don't have that ridge cap in the way on an A-frame. And then you, you can see over there, the light may be dim, but that's a sharp A-frame over there. But then you have a very flat-like roof. If you have a shed roof, you have all this extra space that if you wanted to get up here and clean your solar panels, you have the opportunity to do so. And especially like at Incredible Tiny Homes, now they're doing the gutters into the side of their house that's very slim line you can easily clean that stuff and get this mess off in the winter time and stuff. And I hate to say it, but a lot of companies, uh, you know, you always see them commercials, they say, uh, we don't do fly by night. Well, I hate to say it, we, we do fly by night now. Um, if you need it done, we'll get it done for you even at one in the morning. This house has to roll um, and the metal wasn't here yet. So we come out late tonight to make sure the customer got took care of. They're gonna put the cap on the back and then this will be ready to go down the road um, uh, to their property. And so with that said, I'm going to go down bottom now and I'm going to show you our standard install upgraded with more batteries and show you just how much we can put in a compact area. All right, guys, so here is the finish of the install. Now, what we've done is, thanks to the guys at Incredible Tiny Homes, uh, Randy and his guys do a great job at building these boxes. Um, they give us plenty enough space that not only can we get a normal uh, four battery bank in there for just simple uses, but this customer, since it's gonna to go to a winter climate, um, gonna have extra batteries in there so they can run a heater unit. And you can see here, this is the OTG 2.0 um, that we've moved up to. Um, this, it's not really about being so much as fancy as it is that it saves customers money, gives us more opportunity to put more solar inputs in there um, available. Um, we're actually gonna be going to OTG 3.0 very soon. Um, found another design that's even going to save more money and create more slots. Um, the Power Max unit over there gives 30 amp output, so also have charging capability uh, for shore power to charge this battery bank up. Now, the electrical work um, is going to be finalized by the guys. The, uh, our, our feed from the inverter, which I'm going to step around and show you on the other side here, actually going to break. I'll see what we do. This is the GoPower 3000 watt power inverter. And I'll show you right here. As you can see here, the unit is online and running and it's putting out pure sine wave uh, AC. Now, what we do here is we've, we've got this to the point now where that we've got the fusing system and everything mounted up to a, a backer plate that's to electrical code. That way, not only do we have heat dissipation, but also give the opportunity um, for electrical fire protection too, and internally ground that. So once the tiny house is parked, all this can be grounded directly, and you got no electrical shock hazard. That's pretty much concludes the install. The ventilation will be put so there's a cross draft um, by the guys when they finish this up here. And um, like I said, we'll go the distance for you. Here we are working. It's almost one in the morning. This customer will be ready to go here shortly. So if you're interested, check us out at offgridcontractor.com. And until we see you again, I look forward to working for you.